Hey PJs, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. And as always, comment down below what you guys would like to see next, or if you just want to hop down there and say hello, I'll be answering as many comments as I can. So today I'm reviewing PG Babies, and I did ask you guys on a YouTube comment what you guys would like to see next, because I had a few open spots, and I let you guys decide what I would do, and PG Babies came first. Let me know if you guys want to see more of those. I do like getting your opinion on those. But anyway, Anyways, moving on for extras, I got this little squishy, two stickers, her slime wristband, and then the activator pin. I purchased a total of three slimes, which are all seven ounces. She did get new containers. They're more of a round profile, but they all still do have her sticker on the top and then the slime label on the side. Let me know what you guys think of their of her new containers. I'm not really sure how I feel about them. They're really cool and unique. I just haven't really settled on an opinion yet, but I think they're really cool. But anyways, starting off, we have chocolate chip cookie dough, and this comes with a clay scoop and some chocolate drizzle to put on top, and it is scented kind of like a really artificial cookie dough, but it smells really good. I will mention that on the listing, it says it's a thick and glossy base that turns into a slay slime, but as you'll see, it is a different texture, and I'll explain that after it's done mixing. I just wanted you guys to enjoy the ASMR. So going off what I was talking about before I mixed this all together, the base it was definitely not thick and glossy. It was a cloud cream texture, which is perfectly fine. I'm sure she just mixed up what she was putting as the description, which it happens, it, you know, whatever. And the pictures were definitely more of a cloud cream base that I saw, so I was expecting it, expecting it to be like this. But anyways, this texture when mixed together becomes like a thick cloud dough. I will be honest, it is one of my least favorite textures out there, but it still is really nice and very holdable, really nice to just like spread and squish in between your fingers. That's pretty much what I do with cloud doughs, but it still is really nice even though I'm just not a personal fan of the texture. The color turned out really nice. It honestly looks like I'm pretty much just playing with cookie dough, which is like really weird sometimes when you mess with it. I know looking at it on camera you're like what do you mean it's weird but if you actually have it in your hand and it smells like cookie dough and it feels like cookie dough and it looks like cookie dough your mind kind of goes on a trip for a second because you're like am I actually playing with slime but anyways I did really enjoy this one. The snow fallout was very minimal so this one definitely gets five out of five pajamas. Moving on to the second slime, we have Funfetti Batter. It did have a little bit of spillage at the top, but that was just overflow, it was no problem. But anyways, this is a two-toned and two-textured slime. Half of it is jelly, and the other half is like a cloud, cloud cream texture. It also comes with these little fake sprinkles on top, which I think are so cute. 
and the scent is like a mix of Captain Crunch and cake. That's just what it smells like to me. It smells really good. It sounds weird. I know like that that combination sounds gross, but I think it smells really delicious. Honestly, I would try a Captain Crunch cake if I had the chance. But anyways, the colors mixed together and created like a mint green. And when the textures mix together, it creates kind of a cloud cream and jelly hybrid. It's really hard to describe, but it is a really nice nice texture and it fluffs up super nicely it was just a little sticky you guys can see it's kind of sticking to my table but I did activate it so you'll see some activator like lumps throughout this slime but once it was activated it was perfectly fine and it was really nice the scent came through very well and it was like really good it's really hard to describe this slime because it's just an interesting unique texture but it's really hard to describe and same with the scent so it's kind of uh it's I don't even know how to describe it but it's really nice and I'm definitely giving it five out of five pajamas And lastly, we have brown sugar boba slush, which is a white icy slime that comes with a one ounce brown sugar drizzle that you guys will see in a little bit. And it comes with these little boba beads on top, which are a really nice change from the other boba beads that most slime shops use. And I honestly find them super cute because of how small they are. This slime smells like cinnamon mixed with some brown sugar. The cinnamon definitely comes through a lot more than the brown sugar, but it's still a nice scent. I personally will say I'm not a big fan of it because usually cinnamon scented slimes are like the red hot like hot cinnamon smell if you guys have ever tried those or smelled them I've just never been a big fan of them but if you do like them then you would like this scent because it smells almost on point to like those red hot candies but I just personally do not like it when you mix the two slimes together it becomes a really cool color it reminds me of if you put brown sugar syrup on shaved ice which is pretty much what this slime is so I do really like the color and it's a very holdable slime but at the same time you can drizzle it at the same time you can like squeeze it it's super versatile and pretty much good for almost anything I would say it's not the best with bubble pops but if you like a super smooth drizzly slime then this one would be for you so I will give it five out of five pajamas
with that, that is the end of the review. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And with that, I am signing off. So I will see you guys in the next one.